Department Best of All. What was held in London in 1984. All right. destroyed. The great importance of the apartment festival is to get people together, to communicate, to exchange energies, futures, dreams, aspirations, plans, and then to disperse and to take those plans and energies and futures and give them to other people. Therefore it spreads. What starts within the individual cell spreads to other cells. It's a cancerous spreading of the energy, the energy that we call Neoism. It will flow right over the globe. It will then flow from our globe into other planets. Neoism always has been and always will be. It's the only revolutionary force of the world today.
This footage is of Reinhardt Usable and Pete Harbin at in the morning. That's Reinhardt, and that's Pete. They'd go to the market in the morning in order to pick up discarded vegetables. It was a good way of avoiding having to pay for their food. What is this? Sure. What it is this? <laughs> this is my better half. This is part of my robot machine that gives me insulin here every six minutes. Yeah, because you're located in the It's connected to me. And I give you insulin so. when I need insulin. <laughs> so my uh, interest is to be rich, famous, and glamorous. Oh, Stuart! <laughs> so, if anyone would like to donate me some money, they can write to me, care of Monty. <laughs> and I am available for hire for parties and other private functions at £50 an hour. Yay! 50 an hour! 50 an hour. Well worth it, Cheap well worth it. it. He chipped in last night and raised the 50 pounds, and it was the best hour any of us ever had. After midnight discount, of course. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. We already paid 42. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Most people do this oh, in the privacy of their own home. Huh? What are you going to do, Pete? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not big enough. <laughs> no, let's be very serious and let me to ask some questions. Yeah, it's all right, Monty. 
Ten talk, all right? Okay. Can I ask you some questions? Go ahead. What is your secret? I don't have any secrets. Really? You never had any? Ask Gail. <laughs> <laughs> well, secret. I make it public so that I don't have to worry about people finding out about it. the people you love? Uh, Alan. Pete? Litvinov. Monty Canton. Sacred Scribe of the Church of the Subgenius. Neoists in general. Hannah Aviva. Richard. Sumu Kretzler everyone else that wishes that I love them. Are you going to return to Baltimore? I believe <laughs> You're welcome to be my proxy if you like. <laughs> this is what you'll look like in a few years. If us and you is take over. known as Santa tentatively. So what is your role in this uh, uh, church? I take presents from everyone else. When did you decide to become a member of the Church of the Subgenius? Uh, as soon as I realized that they would support me for life if I did. No, I'm not even joking. But you, do Actually, but you do actions in the name of these groups. Oh, yeah. My idea about neoism is that neoists are potential replacements for all objects. Taxi seats, for example. What was this story? You were said to be a leader of a cult, the dead dog cult. Top cent cult, yes. I'm the headless deadbeat of the pup tent called. Uh, to Gloucester Avenue in London. The date is the 24th of May 1984, and the time is 2020. The setup has been put here to make goals to practice. Gold chapatis feed the poor. Xeroxes feed the hungry. The green isle flames galore. The gold dust for each chapati comes from the Brixton Whole Food Lady. She is a double agent. Double agent for the 14 secret masters of the world. Each kilo of gold chapati flour costs each nearest a pint of blood. And because each nearest craves for gold flour to make the gold chapati and lusts after it with such a vengeance, because of this, the whole food lady in Brixton has an amazing hold over each nearest. Each nearest, no matter what their age, sex, color, creed, is called Monty Cancer. Not only does Monty Cancer have to pay one pint of blood for each kilo of gold chapati flour, but he also has to surrender every single color Xerox to the whole food lady that he makes. These color Xeroxes are taken to Abu Dhabi, where the whole food lady puts them into the richest art auction in the world. What are you talking about? I'm talking about gold chapatis and their history and myth. I'm hungry. You are hungry? I'm really hungry. Well, color Xeroxes, yeah, color Xeroxes feed the hungry. I can't give you any bread. I can give you a gold chapati. Color Xeroxes feed the 
fucking rich. I want bread. You want bread? I have no bread. I have I want gold. Bread. You can have gold, which you can barter, you can exchange the gold for bread. The shit is that. That's a pretty expensive looking camera you've got there for a poor person. This man, this camera, it's an East European communist cheap camera. And it doesn't work. This one? No, it doesn't work. Successful, good looking, tall, young prince. Six prince. 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 Six princes for occasional forays into the kingdom. Escape and you try adventure. Box L448. Banana. I walk past the fruit dish. Smiling bananas, they were yellow and black. Tomatoes, I'm sick and tired of fried tomatoes that always sound the same, that sizzle in the fat and then fall silent on my plate. Melon, I had a melon, I had a melon. It was a pretty melon, but I ate the melon. Now I have no melon. Cucumber, cucumber, straight from the fridge. So cool, so fresh. Turnips. I'd like everybody to stop and think. 
think about turnips for a few minutes. He's got a golden chapati for most of you, if not for all of you. So if you would be kind enough to receive your golden chapati souvenir of this evening's festivities, of this evening's popular chapati circus, I'd appreciate it. Are we running set? Thank you. 
Anyone else? Charles. Hi, Marie. Oh, Hi, Marie from Montreal. Well, go to party. In a minute. Are you going to go get one? Yeah, I'm going to get one. Ah, really good. What about Monty Cancer? Is he still here? Sure. Okay. Okay, and uh, go to party for Monty Cancer. Got a goldfish for the program. Oh. That's not a goldfish, it's a carp. It's got a rose inside it, though. This is the award ceremony, everyone. Yeah, I guess this is the... Uh Monty Canson, Aka Ben Allen. Monty Canson, Aka Istvan Cantor. Istvan Cantor, aka Monty Canson. Flaming aquatic creature. Monty Canson, Aka Andy Stenhouse. Andy Stenhouse. Scottish <laughs> epic character. Mark Paulson. Uh, Mark Paulson. Defies communication barriers. Tentatively a, convenience. Uh, tentatively a convenience. To be continued. Stuart Holmes. Uh, Stuart Holmes. A legend in our own minds and his own. Glamorous, famous. Monty Gail Litvin. Uh, Gail Litvin. Living uh, Miracle. Uh, Steve Thorn. Steve Thorn. Thorniferous. Enigmatic. Monty Canson. An image. Uh, uh, Eugenie Vincent. What product is this selling? Eugenie Vincent. Who ever told that face it could sell commercial entities? Cornelius. Monty Canson, Aka Cornelius. 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 Gale. Monty Canson, Litfanoff. Aka Litfanoff. You can see now in that eye. Monty Bree. Canson, Aka Bree. Bree. Yanto, the newest martyr. Here we are, about to launch the newest armada at Lambeth Pier. Tentatively, a convenience is shown here, about to sew together and now sewing together the fragments of a fish that Monty Canson cut into slices during a previous action from a few nights before. It seemed only fit that the fish should be sewn back together into one piece before being returned to the water again. Hopefully it didn't make the fish population nervous about the presence of a sociopath in its midst. You'll notice that the pier access is strictly prohibited and later on in this soundtrack, you'll hear a letter from the peer authority. There's Stefan Zizalkin bringing his uh, contribution to the Nia's Armada and Mark Paulson. And there's the great Litvinov bringing perhaps not a contribution, but at least her usual silly self. Dear Sir, 
With reference to your letter of 30 April and your wish to use our Lambeth Pier for your ceremony on Saturday, 26 May 1984, I regret that I am unable to give permission you require. Lambeth Pier is fully engaged with charter calls by passenger vessels and is also being used by various tenants of the Port Authority who have private engagements on the pier. Should you obtain an alternative venue, you would be well advised to ascertain that your floating artworks will not constitute an offence on the Thames. And if we can be of assistance in this area, please do not hesitate to contact this office. Here's Pete Harabin's discarded golden clothing representing the discarding of an era of his activities with a flaming chronogram on it. And there's the Stefan Zelkin contribution that we saw him carrying earlier. Here we see Here the we beginning see of an exchange between two, two neoists. Secret Service agents. This exchange was initiated by Pete Harbin, whose intention was to... Here we see an agent from Scottish Special Branch. ...initiate a symbolic exchange His writing of on identities. the mirror is a signal for the cameraman from M5 parked in a limousine to begin Super 8 filming. The idea behind this is being somewhat akin to the group identity in an exchange of international known as Monty between Hansen. himself and an East German secret agent. Here we see the East German secret agent. He is now about to place his passport near the mirror where it will be filmed by the agent from M5. Pete's idea was for the two neoists to exchange on film their passports as a way of indicating that they the are fellow neoists and ultimately of the East part German of the same secret agent. project. Now the Scottish Special Branch man is placing his passport directly next to the East German passport. Notice his hand signal. Georg's idea about this exchange was somewhat different, the however. The East German agent has taken the Scottish agent's passport and is now attempting to leave the square. Given that Notice he's somewhat shoes. in need of a new passport, given that he's an escaped A question you might Hungarian. ask yourself, and you can turn to page 45 of chapter 2, how would the East German agent most easily leave the country? Pete, on the other hand, the is Scottish a bit worried that he won't get his own passport back, and thusly takes off in pursuit. Wondering if the exchange had a different meaning from the one he had originally intended. Any questions? London. Dog. Medical condition, diabetes. Gail Lipton, legally blind. Good dog, Neo. Did you have a nice, nice rest? Oh, good dog. Well, Mommy's going to put her makeup on now. The patches protect my eyes from too bright sunlight and possible injuries.
Roy's going to take Neo to the park now. Good dog, Neo. Good dog. Oh, good dog. Let's get you dressed. Put your headdress on. Okay, Neo. You're a good dog. You can get ready to go to the park. We're going to have a nice walk. Don't forget my card. Say, what a beautiful day, Neo. <laughs> Take it easy, Neo. Just walk lightly. Walk lightly. Relax, relax, Neo. That'll be twenty p, Miss. Lovely dog you've got there. Oh, thank you, thank you. Find me a nice seat, Neo. That's right. Yeah, yeah, let's relax here. Neo, we're gonna go for a shopping trip. Say, need some treats, huh? This is the stop, this is the stop. Let's go shopping, Neo. Blimey, what's that boy doing? Say, Neo, the mall sure smells good. A lot of treats here. I like the turn. Maybe we can find a bakery, Neo. Please help the blind. Mm -hmm. 